migraines, why they happen, and how to stop them naturally. If you've ever had a migraine, you know it's not just a headache. It's a terrible headache and can even derail your workplace and affect your social life. The classic migraine headache is a severe throbbing headache with nausea, vomiting, and can knock you out of service for hours, even days. And if you understand what's happening to your brain, you can reduce the frequency, intensity, severity, and even prevent them from happening altogether. Today, we're gonna to talk about the real mechanism behind migraines and the natural steps you can take to get ahead of them. What's a migraine? A migraine is more than just a bad headache. It's a neurological event that often comes in four phases. The prodrome is usually a warning sign and it's before the headache happens. They can be subtle signs like fatigue, food craving, and aura it can be in visual or sensory form. Some patients with visual auras will see sparklers in their periphery or even the center part of their vision. And what we call march, either start in the center of the vision and then march out to the periphery, or they can start in the periphery of the vision and then march towards the center. The prodrome can vary in its duration. It can last to a few minutes, even up to a half an hour. And usually there's a lull between when the prodrome stops and the severe headache begins. And then the final period of a headache is called the postrome. And that's when the severe headache is over. But a lot of people refer to this as the migraine headache, where someone will have what's akin to a migraine hangover. The migraine attack or the severe headache can last for hours, even several days. The postrome is when the severe migraine headache is resolved. And the postrome is usually referred to as a, a mild to moderate headache and can be even some disorientation and, and the migraine sufferer feeling drowsy. So what's really happening at the core of a migraine? At the core of a migraine is a wave of electrical activity in the brain called cortical spreading depression. This wave disrupts normal brain function and affects the nerves dilates blood vessels and leads to inflammation, especially around the trigeminal nerve, which is heavily involved in facial sensation and pain. Now here's how that works. Your brain becomes overly sensitized to triggers. A stressor causes the nervous system to overreact and signals are sent to cause the blood vessels to constrict. When the body understands that stressor is not accurate nor real, the body sends a different signal to cause the blood vessels to dilate. It's that extreme vasodilation or the opening of those blood vessels that causes the severe headache. The sudden dilation of the blood vessel is what causes the severe pain, nausea, vomiting, light sensitivity, and even fatigue. So think of it like a storm crossing the brain, not random, but predictable once you know the pattern. Common triggers that start the cascade. Migraine sufferers often have very specific triggers that initiate this brain storm. Here's some of the most common stressors. There can be emotional and physical stressors, hormone shifts, especially in women. They may notice changes during specific times of their menstrual cycle, sleep disruption, dehydration is big, blood sugar crashes can cause it, certain foods like aged cheese, wine, chocolate, MSG, or foods heavy in nitrates, bright lights, strong smells, neck tension, spinal tension. Everybody's threshold is different. But when enough triggers stack up, the brain reaches a tipping point and the migraine starts. There are natural ways to reduce the frequency and severity of migraine. Keeping your body hydrated is extraordinarily important. Dehydration is a large cause of migraine and it is a silent trigger. Fluid intake is important. Stabilizing your blood sugar is also important. Don't skip meals. Eat proteins and healthy fats. Magnesium is especially helpful to prevent migraines. It calms overactive nerves. Sleep deprivation is also a cause of migraine. Sleep patterns and rhythms are important. Go to bed and wake up at a consistent times. Gentle exercise improves blood flow and reduces tension. Breathing can help you manage and prevent migraine as well as mitigate or make better the migraine and the severity of the headache. The 444 breathing technique is where you slowly breathe in and a count of four and hold your breath for a count of four and then exhale once again for a count of four and repeat that. It's a calming way to reduce stress and can even make your migraine headache less severe. These aren't just wellness tips, they can stabilize your nervous system. If you're a patient that experiences a prodrome, so if you have an aura, if you have a tip that a migraine is getting ready to happen, then there are things you can do to help reduce the headache that's going to come. It's also helpful if you can go breathe cold air through your nose, can help prevent the vasodilatation that's going to occur. 
That's helpful during the prodrome period, and it's not as helpful after the headache has already begun. During a migraine, how to calm the storm. When the migraine phase hits, your goal is to calm the brain and support circulation. Here's what helps. Cold compresses on the head and neck, a dark, quiet room, reduced sensory input, magnesium supplements, or caffeine in moderation can help the migraine headache be less severe. Essential oils like peppermint or lavender applying to your temple can help cool the head and make the migraine less severe. Some people can use acupuncture, tapping techniques, guided breathing work, like the 444 breath technique can help shorten the pain phase of the headache by reducing neuro irritation. What can you do to find your trigger for migraine? If you struggle with migraines, finding your triggers can be important in helping you to control your migraines. First, keep a journal. Write down what you ate the day before and the day of your migraine headache, and then compare that to previous migraine episodes. You might be able to find that certain aged cheeses can be problematic, what you drank might be also important, red wines. Tracking what you ate the day before and the day of a migraine may help you to pinpoint your trigger for migraine. Also write down what your stress level was if you had a good night's sleep. And for ladies, noting the timetable of their monthly cycle, you may be able to find your trigger for your migraines. Also, certain triggers can be additive. Of the foods that we know can cause migraine, some of them in combination can be even more powerful as a trigger. For example, wine and cheese in combination can be a more powerful trigger than cheese or wine by itself. By finding the triggers of that migraine, you may be able to prevent that storm that happens that causes the migraine. It's important to teach your brain to stay calm. Migraines aren't random, they are triggered, and it's your brain's alarm system going off when it's overloaded. By managing your environment, controlling your blood sugar, staying hydrated, reducing stress, and teaching your nervous system to stay calm, you can raise the threshold that it takes to have a migraine headache. The key is consistency, not perfection. If this helped you to understand migraine a little bit better, share it with somebody that you care about. And remember, your brain and body are always trying to protect you. Our job is to be good stewards of our body and respond wisely. This is Dr. John Michaelis with St. Michael's Eye and Laser. And if you enjoyed this video, please share it. And you can subscribe to our YouTube channel.